I am Norman Summerhays. I served in the Royal Navy from 1942 to 1946. Uh, I travelled the Mediterranean up and down for nearly two years, and then I went far east. We took, escorted the carrier HMS Furious for a strike up north. We escorted her with one or two other ships and she did her duty and coming back, one of the pilots didn't land on the deck. He ended up in the water. When you have a convoy, you have a, every day a destroyer becomes duty destroyer. And we happened to be duty destroyer that day. And then my gun, which carried a crew of eight, and about six of us had to get the whaler out, which was a long oar-driven boat, to go and pick up this pilot, which fortunately we did. Fortunately, we got him out of his cockpit and into our boat. And then our next island was Lampedusa. That was again a base for e-boats, etc. And we continued uh, bombarding that. And then the only time I ever see an enemy do, looking out from my position, I could see, because you, you had some high roads in Lampedusa, was this lorry waving a right, white flag of surrender. And we went in there then, and it proved very good for me so I managed to pinch a hand revolver, which I would have been in trouble if I had if that had been caught out, but I didn't, which proved a lifesaver to me, because when we was with the American forces, uh, they were after all the souvenirs they could get hold of, and I flogged this gun to one of the Americans, and I got $10, which was a, a substantial money. So I only wish I'd pinched three revolvers. <laughs> The last German submarine in there was E-407. We picked up the uh, sonar, picked up their whereabouts uh, at once there. Uh, of course, we were called right into action station and manned all the guns. And then we depth charged her, brought her up to the surface, opened fire on her to convince her that she was on there, which they did. And they tried to fire their gun but we was too powerful for them. Uh, we had four guns pointed, 4.7s at them. And uh, they surrendered. They went in the water. Uh, we picked them up, because uh, it's a tradition in the Navy that you don't leave people in the water without helping them. So we picked our enemy up, and they took them on board. And then we took them to Alexandria, and they went into the war camp there. And I have a letter from a German survivor telling us what it was like to be depth charged and fired at and killed. Very moving letter. He was uh, uh, upset because his mate, mate had got killed, best friend. Uh, and it can't be a very nice experience. You're on a submarine there and you've got depth charges bugging around you all the time, bringing you up knowing down well that you're going to die. You had facilities for sailors in Alexandria, uh, called Seven House, and that was where the, you had your pleasures, of course, and I think well-deserved pleasures. And uh, so that's why we liked Alexandria, because you know the enemy weren't near you. You was there to have your drinks and have your social life, etc. We called a good run ashore, Alexandria. I amazed the Australians the way I cleaned the gun. Oh, mate, we don't go into details like that. <laughs> I said, well, you got it if you got me. And that was on board there. And then, of course, my principal job was going to be on the landing craft to invade Japan. But fortunately, 
Truman dropped the bomb and the Japanese surrendered. You had to feel sorry for them. After all, there's ordinary people, wives, women, children, etc. So you couldn't glorify yourself in regards to that. You just had to think to yourself, well, this is war, how terrible it is on there. Innocent people who haven't done no harm, not big enough to do anything and killed and slaughtered like that. And uh, you did feel remorse, there's no doubt about it. But it saved a lot of lives because I know going in there, the way they fought on the different islands, like Guadalcanal and places like that, that uh, every possibility I could have lost my life. So going in there with the troops on the on the boat, on the, or the landing craft. So I always reckon that bomb saved my life. So I had a young lady uh, who, who I was going out with when I joined the Navy. I loved her very much and she loved me. And of course, our letter, I'd never see her once I joined the Navy. And of course, at the time, was I would, if I'd got home, propose marriage to her and married her. But unfortunately, I never got home. And unfortunately, she met somebody else in South End and fell in love with him and wrote me a letter, Dear John, Dear Norman, and, and put me in the picture that she met somebody else. I broke ship because my brother's submarine was based in Hong Kong. So I had to go ashore to see him and we met, of course. But coming back, the officer of the watch caught me, said, you've broken the ship. I said, yes, that's quite correct. And I had a bit of punishment uh, of seven days or something like that. So I had to paint the ruddy epo and uh, so that was okay. Pride. Because I did my duty, uh, I was no trouble, I wasn't a skate, as they, you know the expression there. Uh, I did my duty and, uh, oh, you're proud of your ship for what she done. <laughs>